Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. That is right. It is Team Rai Rai. Now, how is everyone doing on this Monday's edition? Now, of course, I have social media accounts, but don't worry. I'll discuss that later on in this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax. Put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, it be strictly an article, but I think I'm going to give you the link instead, because there's so much information on this subject. Let's begin here. Now, do you remember a while ago on my channel, possibility that SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, and WrestleMania are heading to Indianapolis, Indiana, home of the Colts and home of the Pacers? Well, did we confirm that earlier this morning? Okay, listen to this. W has official announced a partnership with Indianapolis Sports, etc. I'm going to say that. Writing, sorry, bringing WrestleMania, I just say back for the first time since God knows when, SummerSlam and the Royal Rumble. Wow, three events in one city. That is epic. In Indianapolis, Indiana, the future years starts with the Royal Rumble, February the 1st, 2025, at Lucas Oil Stadium, home of the Colts. So I guess no January pay-per-view anymore. There goes that tradition right out the window. Why did they change this? Hmm. Interesting. So, I mean, this is nice, but the question is what I can just keep it tradition in January in Indianapolis, in Indiana. Hmm. Maybe that's the only way they could have this event in February. Hmm. Very, very interesting stuff. So, they're going to stay in Indianapolis for a while. So,. This reminds me of a couple of years ago when certain like SummerSlam was exclusively to like Brooklyn for a while. Do you remember that? So I guess it's gonna be the same thing. <clears throat> I'm okay with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I prefer that every city host a WrestleMania, host a Survivor Series, host the Royal Rumble. So I don't know if I got my information correctly. Probably I got it all confused. But this is awesome. And another thing is why in the hell did it took this long of the returning WrestleMania in Indianapolis, Indiana and um, they never host the Royal Rumble or even um, SummerSlam, I don't think, ever in their history. So why now? You know, I know it was a bidding war. I never know they could bid on three classic previews in one city. So is all these events going to only happen at Lucas Stadium? And I know it's going to happen. They're going to carry Raw, SmackDown, and, 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 and XC. So probably those events, those shows will go to a smaller vendor. I mean... Arena, you know, I'm assuming. I don't know how that's going to work out. So this is nice. Now, what's next? So the January pay-per-view is wide open. They're not going to leave it open until February, are they? Or maybe they could do this. Have a pay-per-view to, to end the year in 2000 and whatever. And bring back Armageddon. They could bring back TLC or 
Maybe they don't want to do nothing and just have a great build up for the Royal Rumble. I don't know how I really feel about this announcement from earlier this morning. I guess I just got to get used to it. How do you really feel about this? Do you prefer the original tradition of January sometime or a new tradition of, to, of February? I was going to say another month. Thank God I caught myself. So I'm very surprised that it's happening. I'm assuming they're going to mention this all over TV, and I know it's all over social media already. So people are very, very stunned. Now, Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below for sure. Now, if you want to be part of the uh, show, that's fine. If not, don't worry about it. But the link will be down below for sure if you change your mind. Have a good one. I'll be back tonight. Peace out and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Wow, what a bombshell.